our next contestant will be from Faculty of In Geoinformation and Real Estate. His presentation entitled Quantification of Submerged Seagrass Total Above Ground Biomass for Malaysian Coastal Water Using Remote Sensing Data. Please welcome Sharifuddin bin Misbari. Unlike the more record nuts of the sea icon like coral reefs, the, the important values of seagrass are always underestimated, especially in Malaysia. A diverse of ecosystem services is offered by seagrass meadow, including maintaining water quality and provides spawning ground for marine endangered species like seahorse and dugong. There are two types of seagrass form. First, intertidal seagrass, which is exposed during low tide, and submerged seagrass, which is always under the water. Many studies have been done in Australia and in North America, but they focus only on intertidal seagrass in clear water and using conventional method, which is not practical for large aerial coverage and destructive to seagrass habitat. In contrast, west part of Malaysia, you have less clear water. So, this, so these are the challenges in my study on how we can detect submerged seagrass and then quantify its biomass using satellite data. Seagrass biomass is valuable information for managing and appraising marine environment, especially for marine blue carbon and uh, maintaining water quality. So, until now, we do not know how much the seagrass biomass that we have. So, therefore, my PhD thesis is to devise an effective approach on how we can detect and then quantify seagrass above ground biomass in less clear water without destructive method. I have managed to develop an um, pattern, an estimation model of seagrass biomass uh, by associating how much the radiation have reflected by seagrass and received by the sunlight and associating these values with seagrass coverage on seagrass habitat. 20%, 20%, 50%. And this is the first ever have been done using satellite data. And this approach has been presented in front of many Asian scientists in a seminar in Tokyo, Japan in last February. To conclude, I strongly believe that my PhD thesis will bring great impact to the global scientific community in terms to provide good approach in quantifying seagrass biomass without destructive method at required scale and accuracy. Thus, satellite data offer the best way to answer such a demand. Thank you. Yes. Yes.